Well, I finally managed to do it. Um, I got the whole hex paper done. And this, I did it on, um, yeah, that off-white, I don't know what color it is, um, uh, cardstock. And then I scanned it in. So now I can do whatever the heck I want. I, it's still, I don't know. And yeah, I didn't color calibrate the uh, the machine or adjust the whatever. So I could. I'm not really sure what color I like better. Like some, in, I guess it all, I mean, I could always just change the color uh, to suit the game or whatever. But uh, yeah, this so that's this bit, and then I scaled it down to um, you know see what it would be like with um, some Dervelt Krieg normal sized counters. But of course, I can always go mental. And remember, I said I mean this is just me with a pencil and whatnot. And this is for uh, five by seven if I wanted to do uh, like a postcard game or something with it. But um, yeah, I was saying to Rob today, you know what uh, I said, Rob, um, I guarantee you by uh, like within a year. I'm going to have enough tools and skills that I can, no, I'm not saying write rules or any of that stuff, but I can, I will be able to make a proper board game. It'll be homemade. It'll, uh, and it's going to be done one at a time, but I can see me within one year and it's going to be affordable as in it's not going to cost me a bazillion dollars. Um, I am just absolutely loving developing the skills and trying to figure out things. And I'm already, um, trying to figure out how to make uh, my own woodblock print press so I can uh, start making um, uh, my own hex paper uh, without having to rely on a digital, um, uh, you know, digital um, techno that stuff. Like, I want to get away, away, away. I eventually like to just do everything by hand. That would be, and not have to rely on, like, once you have the tools, like, once I have the whatever, it's like, after that, it's like, you know, go on. But we'll see what happens. Um you know, I'm, I yeah, I like I kind of like this off dirt, a bit dirtyish color or whatever. But anyways, it's just nice to know that now, um, like even I can now play around. I mean, I can just keep adding and adding. So if I just wanted to go uh, crazy with, um, you know, like a, a super huge thing, I think my next thing what I want to do now is try to figure out how to make a thirty by what is it thirty four by twenty two map that's the standard whatever uh, you know what though i'm not i'm going to start breaking the mold for that type of stuff for myself as well i'm like no i'm going to make the components fit uh what i want the game to be i'm still going to do hex and all that stuff but um that doesn't mean i'm going to stick to thirty four by twenty two i'm going to take a look at a normal table actually i'm going to look at what normal people or you know would use and uh, go that way. I'm trying to become, uh, I try to figure out things that are uh, the least inconvenient. And one of them is always going to be, I can tell you one thing, I'm always going to make a flip and sure that uh, the hexes will be larger than the hack, uh, the counters. That is, yeah, that's uh, that's one thing for sure. All right, hope you're having a great time. See you later.